everyone, today I will be doing a Vault Run. Basically, a Vault Run is any mission in the Orokin Derelict with an objective to find and open an Orokin Vault. And an Orokin Vault requires any of these, only one of these type of Dragon Keys to open them. Basically, there are four types of Dragon Keys. And the first type is Bleeding. The Bleeding one uh, reduces your health. The Decaying one reduces your shield. And uh, the Extinguish one reduces your damage. The Hobbled one reduces your speed. I recommend using the Bleeding and Decaying on tanky frames like for example Rhino which I'm using now because I am going to go on a bot run. And I am using Bleeding. So basically it is ideal for you to have a squad of 4 teammates because each of your teammates can equip any one of these keys because the vault requires random keys so you wouldn't know which one so it's better you have all four of them in one team so I'm gonna go ahead and recruit my squad members so this is a regular exterminate mission on the Arkin Derelict and any type of mission on the Derelict can actually spawn a vault for you to open so the vault can be located anywhere actually and it is it isn't necessarily the same place so you gotta look hard for it all right here we found the vault it looks like this if you go nearer you can see what key it requires and this one requires a hobbled dragon key so just go ahead and place a waypoint and inform your teammates about the key and therefore it opens and if you go nearer you will see this thing there will be um, an artifact here which my teammate just took so you just take it and remove your waypoint and we are done we just found our first Orokin vault and the Orokin vault actually drops really nice mods every time you go each run but it, it depends on the rarity so some mods like Narrow-minded, overextended, transient fortitude, um, blind rage, they can be found in the Oregon Vault. Okay, this is a really good mod. Um, it's called Transient Fortitude. It adds your power strength, but it decreases your power duration. I mostly use this on Ash and also Rhino because of Here we have Narrow Minded. Narrow Minded is really good for power duration, but the power range will be decreased power duration. I would put Narrow Minded on Loki, as well as Nova if you want your ulti to be to last more longer. And also I'll put it on Loki because the invisibility is just great. Okay, we have Heavy Caliber. It increases the damage but decreases accuracy. Um, this one, I would use it on assault rifles like Summer Prime because you don't really need much accuracy. Okay, this is Vicious Spread. I don't have much to say about this because it isn't, it isn't that rare I would say. I mean it's okay but if you guys like to use shotgun then go ahead and use that. So that is all for my vault run video today. I hope to see you on the next one. Happy hunting!